The Venom game has to be the next game for Insomniac, right? Hey everyone, CBK here back with another Marvel Spider-Man related video. If you don't know already, I pretty much am your source for Marvel Spider-Man and Marvel games related videos, so hit that subscribe button if that's something you would be interested in. Now, a lot of people have opinions on Venom within Marvel Spider-Man 2, most people loved him but felt like we didn't get enough time with the character which is definitely a valid criticism. But it kind of just feels like Venom isn't done within this universe just yet. Brian Intihar, the creative director of Marvel's Spider-Man 2 said in an interview, when it comes to a Venom game, they're gonna listen to the fans. Lately, I've been running some polls on my Twitter account and it's safe to say that fans do want a Venom game. We want more of Tony Todd as Venom. And I'm pretty confident that this is gonna happen. Not only is the demand there, but Insomnia quite literally set up a storyline for a Venom game within the base game of Marvel Spider-Man 2. With inside missions of the game, Carnage was set up for the future. And if you ask me, Carnage is way too big of a villain for just a DLC. It deserves its own game. This game would have Venom as the protagonist and Carnage as the antagonist. So for me, the Venom game isn't a matter of if, but when. Clearly, Insomniac has laid the groundwork for what mechanics of Venom could look like by making him playable within Marvel's Spider-Man 2, and I think that even more combat and traversal mechanics could be added into a Venom game when he has his own skill tree. So there's much more to expand upon for the playable character. Everything you need to make a great Venom game is already there. You have the amazing voice actor who clearly wants to do more with the character, you have the villain already set up, and you have a head start on how Venom would play. It's just about executing it. In my opinion, I'd love to see a nice 12 to 15 hour Venom game. I feel like the fans want to see more frequent games at smaller scales that release maybe every two to three years rather than wait for a 25 hour game that takes five to six years to make. I loved that a smaller Miles Morales game came out only two years after the first game did. It would be so cool to see a DLC this year for Spider-Man 2 and then next year have a Venom game released on the two year anniversary of Spider-Man 2. I know that's quite a big ask, especially after what Insomniac has gone through over the past few months, so I don't have a high level of optimism on the game coming out very soon, but I do have a pretty high level of confidence that a Venom game will eventually happen. Even just getting an announcement for one at a PlayStation Showcase would get me so hyped. The announcement along with a DLC for Marvel Spider-Man 2 would certainly keep us hyped for the next couple of years. All in all, I think it's pretty safe to say that Insomniac does have plans for a Venom game within the future. I'm not sure how soon it's going to be, but I'm pretty confident it is going to happen at some point in time. Would love to see from a Venom game. Do you want a smaller scaled game or do you want a large massive 20 to 25 hour experience with Venom? Let me know down in the comments below. But you guys that will do it for this video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy these Marvel Spider-Man videos. And as always I will catch you guys on the next one.